What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video and today I'm making this quick video for you guys because some of you were keep on asking me to show you guys how to create a bootable uh, USB drive for your AMD based computer so you can install uh, Mac OS High Sierra. So guys, I'm just doing this for you guys. Now if you guys are watching me for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I can keep on making content like this now i'll make this video like two parts so the first part today i'll show you guys how to uh, create a bootable uh, usb pen drive and the second part i'll show you guys how you know plug the usb pen drive to your uh amd computer and uh, jump into bios change the settings and then just uh boot from it and install mac os sierra so let's just go on with this video now for today's guide we just need two piece of software we need amd uh, high Sierra installer uh, version uh, 2.5 and also we need turns Mac uh, you can install the turns Mac dot uh, exe and uh, you can create a bo uh, bootable drive using the trans Mac. now the reason we are using the trans Mac because I know most of you out there you guys uh, you guys don't have access to like a real Mac computer or maybe another hack and tosh with trans Mac you can use the Windows platform and use the trans Mac uh, software and you can create uh, a bootable uh, you know Mac OS high Sierra uh, USB drive so trans Mac will make your life a lot easy now I like to thanks um, www.amd-osx.com uh, for their great website form and their discord um, really really helpful website and form and the discord guys if you, you guys should definitely join so uh, order for you to download anything from uh, AMD OSX form you need to create a uh, user ID really simple just uh, username uh, email password that should be it now what we need to do we need to scroll down all the way I'll leave link in the video description for the uh, uh, the AMD OS X form and also the trans Mac so we need to scroll all the way down and we need to uh, download the latest version of the AMD HS installer version 2.5 now this version was updated around uh, August uh, 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 22nd 2018 and we need to uh, basically download the Clover edition because that's like the easiest one uh, so we can copy this link from here and then paste it our website browser paste all right and then you can uh, download now mind you this file is uh, big uh, 644 uh, GB now if you have like a slower internet it will take longer time now I have 300 MB internet speed so it took me around like three or four minutes to download so just uh, remember uh, it will take a little longer to download now just click okay and uh, you can uh, save to your desktop or download folder wherever you want now I did create a folder uh, my desktop uh, you guys can see MD Ryzen hack and Tosh uh, uh, the reason I created this folder is kind of easier so I can put uh, you know like the trans Mac and the uh, MD installer there so I can show you guys uh, but you can save it anywhere you can save it to your download folder document wherever you want so I saved it in my uh, MD Ryzen Hackintosh folder on my desktop. All right. Now, once you're done saving uh, in, uh, to your uh, downloading, once you're done, after that we need to install uh, TransMac. Okay. You can install the .exe and then also you can create a shortcut on your desktop and just save it, leave it there. So I have both of the uh, software in my MD Ryzen Hackintosh uh, folder. All right. Now we can. Uh, minimize the browser we don't need anything from the browser and we can open trans Mac now the trans Mac uh, uh, when I'm running the free version trial version you don't need to uh, buy the paid version uh, you good for 15 days and uh, after 15 days if it doesn't work you can uninstall and install again it works uh, perfectly fine and you can click run 
Now remember, you do need a USB pen drive, eight gig or more. Uh, I'm using a 30 gig uh, USB drive because I don't have a eight gig one laying around, but eight gig should be more than enough. Uh, you can go with USB 2.0 or 3.0. 3.0 will be a little faster, uh, but uh, 2.0 is a bit slow, but I'm using 2.0. So you know, you can pick up a cheap one for like three or four dollar from eBay. And after that, what do we need to do? Uh, now remember before that, if you have any data in your USB drive, you need to backup. Because once we form it, you will lose everything. So please backup your data if you have any important uh, folders and stuff, please backup. Now, what we can do, we can right click, you guys can see, uh, a, a D drive okay so that's on my uh, USB disk drive uh, we can right click on that and we can format disk for Mac so basically what we will do it will uh, format uh, and uh, you know so you can boot from this uh, drive right so once we restore the image after we format this drive we can boot from this drive so let's format disk for Mac yes so basically TransMac will uh, restart because it's a trial version. You have to wait like what 10 seconds or something. It's okay, it's a free version, right? Then we well, can run again and you can right click on uh, our USB disk uh, drive and then format disk for Mac. And you can name your uh, drive whatever you like. I'll just name Mac, simple, yes. And this should take uh, maybe a minute, two, maybe less, depend on your computers. So now that we are done formatting, you can cancel. It's okay. Don't worry about arrow. Okay, you can uh, click okay. And now we can restore. Okay, so now we can restore the disk image. So we'll restore. Uh, AMD HS installer version v2 clover to our uh, USB drive so we can right click on our uh, USB disk again and then restore with disk image okay yes and now we can select okay go to your desktop I have it on my desktop and I have it on my AMD Ryzen Hackintosh folder and then I can just uh, I can just open this and okay yes okay now this part will take somewhere from like 30 to 40 minutes uh, depend on your computer your speed or your, your USB drive speed so this part will take longer if you have anything important to do just go ahead do it and uh, just you know just don't cancel don't rush this just leave it uh, let it do its thing so I already created one all right, guys. So now that we are done, uh, this drive is ready to plug into our computer and just, uh, you know, ch change some setting in the VAS and we can just boot from this drive. Now, guys, uh, stay tuned for the part two video, guys. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I will also have like a uh, um, little guide right up under the video description. So if you're in rush and you want to install right away, uh, you can uh, read through uh, the steps and uh, stay tuned for the part two part two i'll show you guys uh, how to uh, boot from this usb drive install uh, mac os high sierra and then uh, how to basically uh, configure all right guys that should be it see you guys next one peace